Hey guys, Technimentary here with the video for you guys. Today I'm going to be sharing with uh, you guys a tip that I use on how to check use iPhones when you buy them online or from someone. This method will help you kind of make sure the phone is fully functional. As you know, our channel is all about finding cheap deals on phones and other electronics. So in this video, I want to do this video so you guys can find a way to test phones whenever you guys buy it. If it's used or if you're buying from someone to make sure everything is working and you're not getting scammed. But before we go ahead and get started, if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech news, reviews, and giveaways. And we'll be giving away iPhone to simply enter the giveaway, like the video, share this video on all of your social media site, and then of course subscribe to our channel. And then once you have done that, comment in the comment section that you have done that. So let's dive into this video today. So what you're gonna do is, I believe this will work for Android as well, but here I have an iPhone XR that I'm gonna be doing this test on. I was able to get the iPhone XR for a really cheap price on eBay and Amazon in my other videos. If you guys check those out, I'll leave the link in the comment section for you guys to check it out. So what you're gonna do is go to the App Store or Play Store, wherever you can, find this app called Test M with a capital M, and it'll say Test M, check phone and report. So here, as you can see, it has a 4.5 ratings, and what this will allow you to do is actually download the app, and the app will help us test the functionality of the phone. So let me show you guys. So once you have downloaded the app on the phone, it's gonna be this check mark with the blue icon. We're gonna to wanna to open that up. And once you open that up, we'll show you guys how to do the test. So you're gonna to wanna to allow everything that this app requires. And then it has some gonna kind of info. We're gonna to have to agree, hit on next to agree to the terms and condition. And it's pretty much free to do and you can do it on like I said, iPhones or Android, you do have to watch ad because it is free. So we're gonna run a full test. You can also run a quick test, which takes about 55 seconds. But in this video, we're gonna do a full test. So what's this gonna test is, it's gonna test everything here. As I said, there's gonna be ads, but don't mind those. It's gonna test out the speakers. It's gonna test out the sound, the motion, connectivity, hardware, and camera, and much more. So let's show you guys how to do this. So once you have downloaded this, you can simply test certain things from each of the groups. As you see, there's different groups of the, of the test you can run, but we're gonna hit that full test. And once you get it, there's 22 tests it's gonna run. First one, as you see, is a touch screen test. And to begin the test, you're gonna hit begin, and then it's gonna tell you what to do here. In this case, it just wants us to scratch the screen to make sure there's no dead pixel or non-functioning piece of the phone. And once it passed that, it's gonna say good job and have a green check mark. So we're ready to move on to the second test. As you can see, the Second test here is a headphone test. So for this test, what it requires you to do is plug in the headphones and then listen to three numbers. So if I begin the head, so I don't have headphones on, as you can see, it failed the test. But if I run it again, and then you put in the headphones, it's gonna say three numbers and you press the three numbers. This to make sure the headphone piece works. Because I don't have headphones, I'm just gonna skip to the next one. Next one is the earpiece one. As you see here, it says you have to listen, hold off the phone to make sure the earpiece is working. Once you hold up to your phone and you begin the test, it will say three numbers and we'll be prompted to enter those three numbers. So let's show you guys. So I'm gonna begin and then hold it up to my ear earpiece where it says 780. So I enter that and once I enter that, it's pass the earpiece check. And then next we're gonna move on to the speaker test. Now it's gonna ask you to raise the volume on the phone. This is to make sure the volume on the speaker of the phone is good. And you can do that by simply- 989. So as you saw, it says three numbers, 989. And I heard that and because this entered correctly, it passed the speaker check. Next check is the mic test. And as you can see, it says it will test the mic by saying hello and if we press begin it'll ask for access to the mic and we'll say okay and we're gonna hit okay here 
as you can see, it will check the bottom, the back, and the front mic. So to do test that, we're gonna say, click on back here and say hello. We're gonna say hello. And it back one pass. Now we're gonna select the bottom one and say hello. And the bottom mic passed. And then lastly, the front one, hello. As you can see, all three mics are working functional on the phone. That's why we have a good job. Your mic check pass. Now the next test is the accelerometer. So we're gonna click on that. And of course there's ads. So we're gonna close the ad. And we're gonna begin. And it's gonna ask us to shake the phone for three seconds. So let's go ahead and shake the phone here. And the accelerometer check has passed as well. Next one is the compass one. So we're gonna hit next test. So for this test, you're gonna wanna lay the phone down, upside down for three seconds, and then pick it back up. So to do that, we're gonna begin and then put the phone down here for about roughly three seconds, and then we're gonna pick it up. And as you can see, the compass test worked, so that's good. Next one we're gonna do is Bluetooth. And to do that, we're gonna have to, you're gonna either have to have a Bluetooth device or another phone near to be able to discover that. So we can begin here. And to do this test, it's pretty much you're gonna wanna have to do is power off your Wi Fi and the blue and turn on the Bluetooth. So we're gonna turn on Bluetooth here and then begin the test. And as you can see, the test has passed. And now we're gonna turn on the Wi Fi again. And the next test is the Wi-Fi test. Since I'm already connected to the Wi-Fi, as you can see, I'm gonna hit OK. And now it's gonna make sure the Wi-Fi antenna is working on the phone correctly, and it is. And the next test you see is the GPS test. And for this test, you're gonna to wanna to make sure your service is enabled, and then you wanna go outdoor. So, and then the other thing we're gonna to have to do here is make sure we turn off the Wi-Fi. So it's not using Wi-Fi to do the test. And then we're gonna, and then as you can see, the location service isn't on here, so we're gonna have to go into settings, privacy, turn on location services. So we're gonna go into settings here, and then privacy, and then location service, you're gonna have to turn that on. And once you have turned that on, go back to the app, and then begin this time. And then we're gonna allow while using the app. Let's try again. And as you can see now, it's testing for the GPS on the phone. So GPS sensor is another important one if we use map or location. As you can see, the app service isn't on, so it failed. So we're gonna have to go back and check to make sure this is actually on. And we'll make sure that it is actually on here. And then go back to test M and try again. So hopefully the GPS is working here on the phone. If not, we'll know that the GPS isn't working. So that's the other thing about it. If something fails, because it could possibly be because I haven't, I tested, I turned it on the GPS, so it's maybe why it's failing. So the one other way to test the GPS is actually opening up, uh, if, you, if this wasn't working correctly, is opening up map. And to make sure that while well, you're on the map app, that your location, they're able, the map is able to find your location. So that's important as well. For now, we're gonna go ahead and skip that. You can always come back to some of this test. The next tech is a cellular test, which in case you'll have to turn off the Wi-Fi and put the SIM card of your phone. So here I don't have a SIM card, so I'm just gonna skip that. But that it will check to make sure the SIM card is working and it's able to read the SIM card. Sometimes phone have issues where they don't read the SIM card. So that's important to test that. Let's move on. The next test we're gonna do, I usually like to do is the buttons. So you're gonna wanna test the, uh, it'll tell you what to test, volume up, volume down, and the silent mode. You're gonna wanna flicker it on and off. Keep on doing that and then take a screenshot and then you can pretty much delete the screenshot here. And as you can see, all the buttons are working. Next one is proximity. So we're gonna do is begin. For this one, you're gonna wanna place your hand over the phone, like they say. 
You're gonna put the phone over your hand and proximity working. Next one is a charger. So it's important to check that the charging port on a phone is working. Some phones are known to have defective charging port. That's why you do your test. Again, I don't have a charger yet to test, but if we do this, um, it will pretty much give a check mark. But if I begin here, it's failing because I don't have that on. But we'll move on to the next test. Vibration. So this one is pretty cool. It's going to vibrate a certain amount of times and then you're going to have to enter how many times it vibrated. So if you begin here, one, two. So it did twice here. So I press two here and it passed the check because I got it right. Next one is the light sensor. And we'll... Okay, we hit another this ad over here. As you'll see, this ad, this app is free because they have to make money using ads. So those will eventually come up and you're gonna have to just close them out. And let's begin our test. So this one tells you to put the hand over the thing and then remove it from the front camera. And once it done that, it passed as well. So that's good. Next one is Face ID. So because the iPhone 10 and above does not use the Touch ID, you're gonna have to do the Face ID test, which takes the, if you begin, it will ask you to have, um, well, this app needs Face ID enabled in your setting, but then it'll ask you to take a picture of your front face and then use the back face to take another selfie. So that's to make sure that works. And so we're gonna skip that since we don't have that. And then this test is a really important test, but this one it does take up to 20 minutes is stress test. This, what this does is test to make sure your phone battery is good and it's not bad. So this is a thorough, extensive test that you're really gonna have to wait, but in the end, if you really wait, it will kind of help determine the power and the battery health of your phone really thorough. Also, you can also go into settings and check out the battery health, but this is a more full test for your uh, power on the phone. And as you can see, if you run, it will run multiple tests and it takes a while. So we're gonna close out of that and then move on to the next test. In this case, it'll be the wireless charging pad. And I don't have a wireless charging pad here, so I can't really do that. But the iPhone X and the newer phones that have the glass back allows you to charge wirelessly. And to test that, you're gonna need a wireless pad to lay it down so it knows to test using the wireless charger. So we're gonna skip that. And then another test here we have is the front facing camera. Here, what are you gonna do is the test, but that's fine. We're gonna go ahead and skip the next part. Get the Google app to search what you see. And then the back camera, same thing. You turn on the back camera, it will make sure you'll have to be pointing the camera at your face, but for our case, we won't do that. It will just fail us. But as you can see, the front back camera is working. Next text is the LED test. To begin this test, it will do some flashes. So as you can see, there's three flashes that it did. If I enter three, uh, I'll be done. So as you can see, the test went through and then you can check the result again. And some of the ones that I skipped, it will have grayed out or not check mark here, or the ones that failed will come up here. So this app, and then you can create a report here if you wanted to, to check more details about the phone. So hopefully this video is helpful. If you guys are new to or buying, or if you're buying a used phone and want to make sure that it's a fully functional phone, download the app, run the test. And if you find any issues, of course, return it or, you know, get back to wherever you got it from. So hopefully this was helpful. Thanks for watching, guys.